Hello everyone, are you ready for another, uh, you ready for another adventure? It's me waking up back with some more Marvel Snap. <laughs> Today I've decided to play this deck which I've been building and testing around and I think it's finally done. It is my toxic deck. It is an extremely toxic deck. <laughs> There's nothing really more to say here. Uh, a lot of these are pull three cards, so uh, let's go into them. First of all, what's the main way, what's the win con for this game? It's very simple. You see this card right here, Hazmat, she inflicts one, uh, she makes all other cards lose one power. Alright, that's pretty bad. We have Green Goblin, which we can give the opponent, so that's a minus three that can turn into a minus four. We have Wong, that makes it so all my on reveal abilities can at this location happen twice. So if you do it with Hazmat, it's a minus one, it turns into a minus two. We have Wolfsbane. So basically what it wants to do is that you want to make your enemy so weak, and then we have cards here like Wolfsbane and Carnage, and Doctor Doom, and Spider-Woman who get played later on into the game that basically kind of like sweep up. And funny enough, I should probably get rid of Spider-Woman because it's actually kind of hard to play this one. I think spider Woman's the one drop that I probably could use without, uh, but for now it's fine. But yeah, Black Widow, she makes it so that your opponent has a Widow Bites and added to your opponent's hand. This is extremely toxic because as long as this card is in your opponent's hands, you can't draw. Uh, so they have to play it, but then if you use her with Wong, they get two automatically to the hand. They have to play two of them, it wastes up two spots. If you use her with Beast and not wait for Wong, what happens is, is that you can use her, boom, you play it, your opponent plays it, you play Beast next turn. Uh, Beast returns Black Widow to the hand. You can do it again, or you can wait until you have Wong on turn. Actually, no, you probably won't. The point is you keep doing it, and then you also have Scorpion, which gives all cards in hand minus one. So then you could return <laughs> the Widow's Bite, making them weaker, and it's this deck is just all levels of toxic. The one thing I would probably get rid of is get rid of Spider-Woman and add in, um, uh, Psylocke, just so you could have, um... Wong on the field faster, but the more cards your opponent has than you, the better. Uh, let me see, in terms of cards that that I don't own that would be good in here, uh, Falcon would be not good because it just returns one cost. Uh, let me see, I think there's one specifically, not Polar- Polaris would be good with like board control kind of thing, so I probably would actually run it in this one. Ronin's okay. Yeah, not much. Probably actually Red Skull would be pretty sick in this deck because your opponents are going to be so weak. Who cares that you're giving them plus two if they've already been suffering through minus one and stuff like that. So there we go. Let's go in here. And hopefully this runs better than I did when I tried to show off uh, Mr. Sinister. Not Mr. Sinister. Um, Mr. Negative. Alright, this is a pretty good hand to start off. We'll uh, play the hood right here. Now, I know it seems like counterintuitive to give yourself a my Ooh, please don't hit Wong. Damn it! Alright, it's fine. Uh, one of our card moves here. Okay, I think we can play... So the one thing that I actually don't... I have to be careful of is that the person who goes first is dependent on how much attack the other person has, basically. So, let me move this guy here. There we go. And we'll see we'll go, what we'll go from here. But yeah, the person who goes first is always the person who has less. So we'll go here, get my goblin. Okay. Ooh, this is actually kind of good. Okay, so we'll go... I think we'll go here. Then we go here. We're gonna confuse him by not playing anything on here, and that way we can win the location with, the, with Doom. Potentially. Ah, oh, damn it, he knows we have Doom. <laughs> Oh, but it's still fine. So yeah, we give everything minus one. Okay. So I'm gonna play him here. And then I think we are good. We'll see here. That's definitely rough. But now he has to play over here. Let me see, is 10 gonna be enough? I think, I don't think so. See, if he has a six, if he has a plays a five here, he loses. No, he still wins. Damn it. It's gonna be close. Ooh. Okay, he wins. I had no idea he had a Romazola. There was just no way for me to predict that. <laughs> so he wins that one. Mainly because of Storm and I couldn't get rid of Hood. If I could get rid of Hood, that would have been great, but that's a defeat. 
All right, we'll go on to the next one. Totally was not expecting that. To be fair, no one expects the Zola play. I think there's certain cards that just win because no one expects them. Zola is definitely one of them. All right, decent starting hand. Oh, that's great. Are you kidding me? Destroy him. I don't care. Hmm, where to go from here? I think next is Scorpion, methinks. Scorpion's a pretty good at two drop. Oh, that's great. Please. That does make it annoying because that does mean that now Rocket is much stronger. But let's see. Oh, I don't have. Yeah, that no. He's gonna ex he's gonna want me to play there. If he's playing a Guardian deck, then he expects me to play there. No. Okay. Never mind then. Again, this is pretty good for us. Ooh, cards here have plus one power. Okay. Gonna put him there. I want him to fill up the other board, to be honest. I think at this point he realizes that I'm not going to contest the board because I have the hood and I want him destroyed. Deuce is a pretty good one here, but it's going to basically make it so he has zero. Ooh. All right. This is where some of the fun starts to happen. <laughs> this is such a mean combo. Because now he thinks everything is on his is going to be good plus one. Give it all minus. Now it's my turn. I think I'll go Wong. <laughs> go into here. Uh, I'm winning this one, so unfortunately... Go here, that's fine. Give everyone <laughs> on his side of the field. <laughs> A minus six in the middle. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go here, go here, go here. I think I win. I don't think he has a way to win, but we'll see. Minus six. If he has Odin, then he's just simply better than me. Oh, please don't change it into something that would actually be beneficial. Whew. That does nothing. Already contended I was gonna lose this spot, so. It's a free snap. Yep. And then he's like, oh, whatever, I win. And then... Boom. Wolfsbane. Mmm. Meaty 13 drop Wolfsbane. Very powerful. Victory. Yeah, I love... Absolutely toxic. Didn't draw a Black Widow, which is a shame. Because I would have been able to show how great she is. I think she's one of the best two drops in the game, actually. Just because, like, it's annoying to deal with her. And she creates a body that doesn't go away. Cards can't be played here. Pretty good to go with Doctor Doom. But we'll see. Mm, it's funny that almost no one plays anything on turn one. I think only in, like, the early game of Marvel Snap Deep will you see people going and turning something on. Ooh, draw two cards. That's actually very helpful for me because now I can just simply Scorpion. See if he had the same idea as me. He didn't. Okay, we're even still. The cards revealed this turn. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We have to be smart about this. I think I'll go here. Then I'll go here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think we're pretty solid. I know what I'm doing on my fifth turn. Unfortunately, Wong is about to get hit by this, but it's fine. Ooh, that's great for me. I love that. Thank you. Lockjaw. Is this a Mr... It's a leader deck. So he gets Wong, too. That's fine. Oh, I could... So unfortunately, she came a little bit too late for this. So said I'm gonna go here. Then oh, it's a two and a one. I can totally do this and stop him from drawing at least. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's pretty good actually. Go here. There we go. Stop him from drawing. 
And now we simply win. Let's see, unless he has Odin, but what are the chances of him getting Odin while he played Wong and the leader? Let's see. It's actually pretty high. <laughs> Blit. Excuse me. But I'm pretty confident I can win this one. As long as he doesn't summon another, as long as it's not Odin. Damn! I lose. I lose. Absolutely got beat on that one. Won't matter. Yeah, and Doom was like two power away from being able to win. That's a shame. What are the chances that he also played Odin? Sometimes you just can't predict certain decks. It literally, the leader spawned him the greatest card he could have asked for. A free Wong. Alright, let's see. This one's pretty alright. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do the combo I want, but it's fine because no matter what, that's a minus one in his hand because of Hazmat. If we can draw a beast, I think that will be great. Okay, let's see. Turn five, all cards have to be here. Only one card can be there for each player. Gonna play her there. See what happens. So we can draw for this turn. And hopefully there's nothing too crazy on this one. That's pretty bad. Not gonna lie. So I think I'll go here. And then I'll play him because it seems like I'm already losing this one. But if I can get Beast, I can just get her back to my hand. And it's less of a problem. It's not a one cost. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I can kind of trick him if I go Wolfsbane. But all on turn five, all cards have to be kind of be played there. So I'm going to play Wong here. And then we'll see if he has a follow up on the next turn. I think I can definitely trick him into thinking that... Ooh, that's never good. But thankfully I go second this time, right? Clear for takeoff. Yes, I do. Okay, good. Alright. So he's probably going to summon Destroyer or something really big. He can't go Leader because there's only one card that can be played there. Really? Interesting. That actually this doesn't end up gonna be hurting me. Oh, thank god he had Angel. So it ends up being a net, net positive. Okay, so my turn. Definitely go here, definitely go here, definitely go here. We'll see. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot to snap in time. It's fine. I win regardless. Then boom. Crash, crash, four. Now for this guy, uh, it, funny enough, it ended up being not too much of a problem. Because he actually had a way to destroy. I think that's actually the deck I do weakest against. Just because they're actually able to get rid of all the stuff that I want to actually play. Ooh. Get that. Acquire some boosts. Season pass. 500 credits, baby. New card back. Ooh, new card back. Let people know. I mean business. Spider business. Alright, next. Who's, what says toxic more than Spider-Man? Beefcake! Alright, we have Beast, which is pretty good. Ooh! You honestly want more locations like this, like Necrotia. <laughs> the more toxic, the better. Ooh, okay, and we're now we're not losing. We are losing on board presence, but <gasps> damn. All right, we're now gonna. Okay, thank God, his is gonna reveal first, which is good. Which is what which is what I want. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to activate this here. I think I'm gonna end up losing depending on what um, gets summoned from the raft. But let me see, I can summon... Oh, he gets a <laughs> spider woman, which is funny. Please be a low drop. Damn! Okay. Go here. 
and wish for the best. Oh, he's gonna get it right there. Which is fine though, because now his uh, this spot is very weak for him. It's weak for me too, to be honest. Okay, let's see now. I think I think I'll go here. If I got if I draw a doom, that's fantastic. That basically lets me win, but we'll see. Ooh, I don't have any one drops. He has one drops though. Oh, he stole my Black Widow. All right, it's fine. Oh, that actually helps me. Let's see, gives plus two. Is it enough to draw and justify it though? I think not. Mm, let's see, if it gets minus two power. It's definitely not expecting it. I think it works out in the end. I think he's gonna double up on Murder World and he's not gonna protect the other two because he thinks he wins it. But he also has a free zero drop, which kinda sucks. Damn it! Alright, we're retreating. You can have the one. I'm not letting you have four. I think it could have totally been possible to win, but that zero drop um, is potentially very scary. As long as it's a six drop with a lot of power, he could have been able to beat pretty easily. Damn, I hate being able- I hate losing the raft, because basically whoever wins the raft wins the game. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like to me. Ooh, plus five energy this turn. Please let me go second, please let me go second, please let me go second. Damn, this would hand would have been cracked going um, second. So I think I'll go here, here. Why would you do that? Uh, oh, I guess neither one of us can play a card. That's pretty smart. Hmm. One cards can't be played there, huh? I think I'll go here for now. And then I will pass turn for now. Yeah, okay, he's a destroy deck. I think he's a destroyer deck. So I think I'll go here. Make him think that I actually have something to play next turn. Hulkbuster on Bucky? What are you doing? What are you... what? Why would you do that? Mm, I guess it does protect him a little bit more against Hazmat, but now it just makes him stronger. So I'll go here, I think. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good defense against my deck. Ooh, but thankfully he still has Soldier out. Uh, let's see where this goes, huh? I think I could potentially win eight here, but it's all gonna depend on if he has insane cards to play in the first one and the second one. He definitely has Lady Death, so that's a free 12 right there. But if he ignores the middle, yeah, okay. It's just gonna depend on if the card at the end is able to withstand the power. No, he loses. <laughs> I was like, I thought you had maybe a better move than that, but he did not actually have a better move than that. Nice one. Good job. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep climbing with this one because this deck is, uh, first of all, very toxic, but it's also kind of fun to play. Even if you don't draw your toxic cards, you still have a pretty good chance of winning. Um, I think, yeah, Spider-Woman seems to be the odd man out in this deck, so I think I would probably replace her with something else. Maybe something else to kind of accrue advantage on this one. But what is my answer? 
Mm, let's see, another good five drop to play. Maybe Doc Ock to ruin their plays and see what they do. Hmm. Something that in maybe could be comboed off with Wong, a reveal effect. Hmm. Hmm, I think magic would probably make sense. So would Hobgoblin. Hmm. Leech to kind of remove every effect from their hand, but sometimes they're playing a... Ooh, actually Arrow would be a good one. I think I'll go Arrow instead. The reason is, is that this lets me have a little bit more idea of where all the cards are going to be placed on the board. And that can actually kind of come in clutch sometimes. So I think I'll go that way. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, goodbye.